Okay, let's see what we can do on Call of Duty. Here we go. Hello there. And goodbye. Okay, it's one down. There's two down. Oh my god, how did I miss? There you go. <laughs> that wasn't even me. But you can see, guys, so not only can you install your favorite streaming applications, your favorite utilities, your favorite general applications, you can actually install games and play games of this quality all through an Android emulator. I think it looks really good and works really well. Huh. Can I kill this guy as well? Look at that. Look at that. I'm all over it. Hey guys, welcome back. So there's just so many benefits of having the ability to run Android applications on your PC. And I've listed here my top five. So firstly, the obvious benefit that you can now run all of your Android applications, all of your Android APKs on your computer, your laptop, pretty much on any kind of Windows device, you can now run your applications. Next up, we have the benefits of the larger display. So, you know, if you have been running your Android apps on your phone or maybe on a tablet, if you now run them on your computer, you can now potentially have a much larger screen, you know, to run those applications. Uh, next up, we have no battery issues, of course, you know, using a, a cell phone or, you know, a tablet device. If you keep playing games on there, if you keep using that, then eventually it will run out of batteries. But you're not going to have those kind of issues running those applications on your PC. You also have the ability to run multiple applications. You can spawn multiple emulators on your PC and run multiple Android applications at the same time. And lastly, and typically, your desktop will have more power than the typical smartphone or tablet. So, so we can see, guys, there really are lots of benefits of having the ability to run Android applications on your PC. The question is, which emulator to use? Now, there are lots of different emulators out there. I mean, some of the big ones we have are BlueStacks. There's also uh, Nox. Uh, there's Remix OS. There's Genoa Motion. I've tested most of these guys, but I think for the typical user or for the normal user, I found the best one to be LD Player. So in this video today, let me show you exactly how you can install the latest version of LD Player. We'll then get that set up and configured, and I'll show you exactly how you can install all your favorite Android applications and get them running inside your emulator. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so to get the latest version of LD Player, if you just navigate to my website, which is techdoctoruk.com, now when you get to the site, let's click on the downloads page. Let's scroll down. And right at the bottom here, we can see we have a section for Android on PC. Now what we're looking for here are the two links at the bottom. So you have LD Player, which has Android 7.1 as the EOS, and you also have an older version, which has Android 5.1. Now the reason why we have two versions is if you do have some old Android applications, some old legacy stuff, that's just not supported on the latest version of Android. You can download this one and use those applications. But, but in my example, as I'm going to be running the new applications, the newer stuff, I'm going to download this thing here. Let's click on that. And let's scroll down and let's click on the green download button. Okay, let's click on save. Now you'll notice that the download file is only a few megs in size because the actual application, when you open it, will actually download the content it needs. So let's open that up. Let's click on yes. If you want to change the setup path, you can click here and change the path. I always like to put it in its own folder, just at the root of the C drive. Let's leave that as is. So it's C, LD player. And let's now click on install. Okay, this will now download the application or all of it and then install it onto your device. And just while we're waiting, guys, do leave me a comment below. Let me know what are your favorite Android applications or shall we say your top three favorite Android applications that you'd like to run from your PC. Okay, let's give that a second. Okay, we now get the message that the installation has now completed successfully. So let's click on start. And here we are, guys. We are now inside our virtual Android home screen. Uh, we have some system applications over here. Let's click on settings. Let's scroll down. And we can see here that this device is running Android 7.1.2. And we can see here on the side, we do have some shortcuts. So we have shortcuts for the virtual volume control. We have a shortcut to install an application. We can do that, or we can just drag applications directly into here. Uh, down here, you've got the button for back, and you also have the shortcut, which is escape. Here, you have the button for home. Alternatively, you can press F1. And here, you have the app switcher. So let's try the shortcut. So let me press F1. 
and we see that takes us into home. Now, in case you're wondering what these applications here are, well, the way this emulator is kept free is they do actually um, support uh, sponsored content. So randomly, you will see certain applications or certain games just appearing here. Now, although these games don't actually install themselves, they kind of just show you the icons just as a way of promoting them. But, but we can just ignore them. And let's open up the LD store. So this is kind of like their own custom application store. So we can see they do mostly have games on here and then you do have some of the popular applications. So let's say, for example, I want to install uh, Chrome. Let's click on that. Click on install. Okay, we see that spawns the Google Play Store. Let's give that a second. And just while you're waiting, guys, if you are enjoying this kind of content, if you want to see more tutorials on the PC, more tips, more tweaks, then please do take a minute to like this video and also think about subscribing. Thank you. Okay, we've just signed into the Play Store. I can now click on install. Give that a second. Okay, that's now installing. And there it is, guys. That's how easy it is to install Android applications inside your Android emulator. So it really is very, very easy to use. And of course, now that we have access to a full browser, I can now, for example, go to uh, get.filelinked.com. Okay, let's give this permission. Click on allow. Now, of course, guys, we can see I'm doing everything with the keyboard and mouse. So navigating around here is just super easy. Okay, let's click on install. Okay, so we had one application downloaded from the official Google Play Store. We've now used Chrome to download File Linked. I can now open that up and I now have full access to File Link. So let's just type in a random code. And there is, guys, I'm now inside an application store. I can now download any application I want directly from File Linked. So let's say, for example, I want to download this application over here. Let's click on that. And within one second, that now starts downloading. Uh, let's scroll down. Let's say, for example, we want to download um, this application over here. Let's click on that. Okay, that comes down. Let's click on the play button. So, guys, you can see it is very, very easy to use this Android emulator on your PC. Let's click on done. Scroll down. Uh, let's click on this as well. Let's do the package installer. Let's click on install. Click on done. Okay, let's go to the home key or press this button here. And there it is, guys. We've now installed these applications directly inside our Android emulator on our PC. And of course, if we click on them, they work absolutely fine, guys. And of course, you can just click on this stuff, click on anything you like. And within one second, or should I say within five, four, three, two, one, we are now accessing all this great content from our PC through our Android emulator. And that's working absolutely fine. Let's press the home key. And lastly, any application that you can install on a normal Android box, you can now install on here. So for example, one application I always recommend is Aptoid TV. So if I search for that, Aptoid uh, TV, I can just search for that, click on the first link, click on download. It says, do you want to download this? Click on OK. That's now downloaded. Click on open. <laughs> you can see, guys, it is very, very easy to navigate and very, very easy to use. That's now installed. I click on open. And I now have access to Apto TV using this custom um, application store. And I now have access to literally just hundreds and thousands of different applications. And of course, once again, if I want to install something, I can click on this, click on install. And within five seconds, that's now installed and that's ready to use. So really easy to use. two down oh my god how did I miss there you go <laughs> that wasn't even me can I kill this guy as well look at that look at that I'm all over it so uh, I think it's really impressive and out of all of the emulators that I tried, LD Player was definitely uh, the best one. So, uh, there you go. And, uh, cut that. And third, damn it. There you go. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Many thanks for your support. 
lots of you are asking on how we can run Android applications on our PC. So I do hope you like this video. Let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.